Are you someone who struggles with consistency? Like you start a thing and you don't finish it? Well, in today's video, I am going to break down five simple steps to help you be consistent in any area of your life. Welcome back to another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now look, we've all had times in our lives where we have been inconsistent. We started something, didn't finish it. We started again, didn't finish it. We started again after that and still didn't finish it. I'm guilty of that too. But one of the things that I've noticed is that consistency is an important character trait. I don't know if you think of it this way, but oftentimes if you are inconsistent in one area of your life, that typically trickles on over and billows on over and spills over into other areas of your life too. I had a business coach that told me years ago, how you do one thing is how you do everything. And I thought that was the stupidest thing on the planet, but he was correct. How you typically do one thing is kind of how you manage other areas of your life as well. So in these simple steps, I want to give you some strategies on how you can be consistent in any area of your life, even if you've fallen off, even if it's been years, even if it was just yesterday or five minutes ago, I want you to get the wherewithal to build up enough strength to continue to keep going, especially if it is a goal, especially if it is something that you want to accomplish, especially if it's something that you know that is going to benefit you long term. I don't want you to give up. And in this video, you're going to have the tools to be consistent. The definition of consistency is marked by harmony, regularity, steady continuity, or free from any types of variations. The definition alone has gathered a whole bunch of y'all. And I don't want you to beat yourself up if you're somebody who hasn't been consistent, but this is why we're making this video. The first thing that you need to do is set clear goals. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of something called SMART goals. S-M-A-R-T, and SMART is an acronym, and it stands for specific, it stands for measurable, it stands for attainable, it stands for reasonable, and it stands for time specific. So I want to encourage you, whatever goals you're trying to accomplish, make sure they are SMART goals. Make sure they're very specific, down to the very T. Don't just say, oh, I want to lose weight. No, you need to be specific on how many pounds do you want to lose? You want to be measurable, thinking about how you are going to do it. How often are you going to work out? What is your plan? What is your strategy? You want to make sure that it is achievable. Don't create a goal that is outlandish and you're like, I want to lose 100 pounds by tomorrow. That's not achievable. That's unrealistic. The next thing, it has to be reasonable, right? Like making sure and relevant. So R can be relevant or reasonable, but it has to be a goal that's tied in to what your outcome is trying to be. Don't say that you want to create a goal of losing weight and then you talk about going back to school. Those two things are not correlated, right? So make sure that is relevant and that is reasonable. And last but not least, it needs to be time specific. So if you're talking about losing a certain amount of weight, you want to make sure that you are putting a time frame on it. Don't just say, oh, I want to lose 50 pounds. And it could take you 80 years to lose 50 pounds, but say, hey, I want to lose 80 pounds within the next year or two then that's very time specific. The second simple step into making sure that you have consistency in your life is to create some type of routine. This essentially means that you need to create a routine or some type of schedule that you can stick to daily, weekly, or even monthly that's gonna help you get to your goal. And what this does, it creates structure in your life. If you do something one day and then you don't do it again for another week, that's the whole point of this video is that it's inconsistent. So the goal is to get you as consistent and on track as possible. The more you do a thing, the easier it will become. It will become like a muscle, you know what I mean? It's important for you to get a routine and a habit of doing things consistently because if you don't, that could be a problem and that can get you off track when you're trying to keep being on track. So to keep up with our example, if you are trying to lose weight, then you need to be going to the gym a few times a week, right? Or you need to be working out in your home or you need to be eating cleaner or you need to be doing X, Y, and Z. Making that a part of your daily routine or your weekly routine will get you on track towards your goal. The third step to being consistent is to stay accountable to somebody, AKA 
tell somebody what you're trying to do. This has been the most important thing that I have ever done. This step right here, accountability, being able to hold yourself accountable and talking to a friend, a family member, a coworker, or whoever, and saying, hey, this is the goal that I'm trying to reach. Can you hold me accountable? So when you see me eating those Snickers, and those cinnamon rolls and those brownies when I'm trying to lose weight and I shouldn't be eating those things, check me, call me out on it. When you're talking to me on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and those are the days that I'm supposed to be at the gym and I didn't go, ask me about it. This will help you stay motivated and on track to reach your goals and the objectives. When you don't have anybody that you can talk to about a thing and you're going through life on your own by yourself and nobody's checking you or checking in on you, you're more than likely going to fall off because you already have a history of being inconsistent anyways, if we're being honest. So having that accountability, that person to check you and to check in on you <laughs> is important because if not, you probably wouldn't be consistent at all. And then that's just gonna perpetuate the cycle that we've been talking about in this whole video. And as a random side note, before I move on to number four, think about all of the people who have partners when they are working out and doing something, right? Like you have a workout partner or people do like work sessions or, you know, different things where it's like somebody else who's on the same journey or a similar journey as me, I'm gonna link up with them so we can hold each other accountable. I'm gonna hook up with them and link up with them so I can keep them on track and they can keep me on track. And then there's somebody who understands me, that gets me, that understands the good, the bad, and the in-between that comes with us trying to reach this goal so you won't feel alone. The fourth step is to celebrate yourself. Now, I know we talked about some things on this journey that doesn't feel good. We don't always wanna do the thing, even though we know it's gonna yield us good returns at the end. But even when you're making small progress, celebrate the wins. I often tell the people that I work with is that slow progress is still progress. I'm gonna say that again for the people in the back. Slow progress is still progress. So even if you didn't reach your goal this week, even if you didn't reach your goal this month, you didn't give up. You did not stop. You've been consistent. You put in things in place. You have routines. You have accountability. You are doing something that is going to help you get one step closer to that goal. You may not be where you want to be, but you're also not where you used to be either. And that's something that we have to acknowledge and celebrate. I completely understand that you know that there's something on the inside of you that you have to reach toward, that you have to strive toward, that you have to do better with and on, and you didn't give up. There's so many people to the right. There's so many people to the left who did, and we don't want you to be one of those people. So celebrate yourself even at small, teeny tiny milestones in between. And then when you reach the goal, you can really turn up and have a whole party because that is something that you deserve. The fifth simple step on making sure that you are consistent is to practice self-compassion. Now this is a little bit different from the celebrate yourself type of energy because if we're being honest, at some point we may slack off a little bit. At some point we may fall back. At some point we're not going to do something perfect. And if we beat ourselves up, oh I didn't do it. I didn't go to the gym today. I didn't eat right today. I might as well give up. If you don't have that self compassion, that patience with yourself, that self-love to help build up your self-esteem, you are going to want to quit. So understand that setbacks are a part of the journey and the goal isn't perfection. I'm going to say that one again for the people in the back too, because I need to do a whole other video about perfectionism. Woo! I'm going to add that to my list. You do not have to be perfect in order to make progress. You know how people say progression over perfection? That is the name of the game here. So don't beat yourself up. We need to reframe this and look at this for an opportunity for you to come up. We think of like a setback and it's a comeback. Like that's the energy that we need to be on. Use that as fuel to say, yep, I messed up. Yep, I slacked off. Okay, cool, I did it. Acknowledge it, own it. And now saying a minute from now, a day from now, a week from now, I'm going to be better. I'm going to do better. I'm not going to give up on the process. They haven't been perfect, 
but there is still progression. So thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I hope something that I said in here will resonate with you. I hope there's something in here, one of these five steps that you needed to hear today to get you on track with your goal. And it isn't just about school or it isn't just about health or it isn't just about business and entrepreneurship or it isn't just about things with family and friends. It can just be small character things that you as an individual need to work on. It can be in a number of different areas. You know the things that you need to work on. We typically know the areas of our life that we need to have some type of improvement on. And it's up to you in order to do it. Just know that ain't nobody gonna come and rescue you. Ain't nobody gonna sprinkle no magic fairy dust and say, now you are going to be the most consistent person ever. And it's just gonna magically happen. No, you got to put in work. No, you got to put in the grind. No, you have to put in the effort and know that at some point it will yield you a great return. So thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. And I will see you next time. Be blessed.